Okay, I want to welcome you to, I guess we can call it an afternoon of the arts. My name is Ms. Bowser. I've been working with uh, Jayla and the crew, um, the cast of Freedom Calling, and we're lucky enough today to have Reverend Brown and some of the band perform a little bit. So what you're going to see today is you're going to see a performance by the band, and then you will see a production of Freedom Calling that we've been working on, followed by a solo song by Siani Williams, and then a solo dance by Dynasty Andy. So I'm asking all of you to please silence your cell phones. Um, these are your classmates. They've been working really hard on this, so let's support them and let's cheer them on and just respect. Okay, guys? I appreciate your participation in the audience, and I would like to present to you Reverend Brown and the band. Let's give them a round of applause.
Let's give our band a round of applause, guys. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, can I have your attention, please? Let's bring the voices down. So as I said, my name is Ms. Bowser. I've been working here for about only three months. Um, I work in the administration office downstairs as a social emotional learning coordinator. I've seen a lot of you in the hallway. I've done some things. So I just want to say how proud I am of all of you and the students that perform today and that will be performing today. As I said, we had the band come. Thank you, Reverend Brown and the band members. We appreciate you. And now what you're going to see is a production of Freedom Calling, which is actually a depiction of uh, things that happened back in slavery time. Uh, we have Juneteenth coming up, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit. After we do the play, which is actually more of like a melodrama where you hear a music in the background and you'll see them acting out and they're very dramatic. So we worked on that a lot. And then you will see a song by Siani Williams singing Rise Up. And then you will see another dance by Dynasty Anding. So now, excuse me, because I can't see if I don't put my readers on. But we're going to talk that everybody got a, got a program. You could read along with me a little bit if you want to. So. Ladies and gentlemen, Freedom Calling is a short melodrama performed by nine Chester High School students to the song called Stand Up by Cynthia Erivo from the movie Harriet by Harriet Tubman. Did you guys see that movie, Harriet? Okay. This play was written by our very own Chester High School student, Jayla Pratt. So this is coming from her. Juneteenth is coming up in a few weeks. Juneteenth is a federal holiday in the United States commemorating the emancipation of African Americans. It is also often observed for celebrating African American culture. Originating in Galveston, Texas, it has been celebrated annually on June 19th in various parts of the United States since 1865. This play symbolizes a commemoration of Juneteenth. I would now like to introduce to you our very own playwright and actress, Jayla Pratt, who will talk about what you will be seeing today. Let's give a round of applause to Jayla. Thank you. 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 Thank you if they will be inside slaves or outside slaves. The brown paper bag test is a term in African American oral history to describe a colorist, discriminatory practice within the African American community in the 20th century, in which an individual's skin tone is compared to the color of a brown paper bag. Act two, scene one, take place inside a home where an inside slave and her two daughters are sitting at the kitchen table preparing food. Here you will witness the slave master bringing the clients to see the slaves and what happens when a young slave gets sold off. Act two, scene two, take place outside where the client is walking with his new young slave that was just purchased. You will see the struggle and fight to the very end. Who will prevail? Thank you, Jayla. So just a little bit about how this happened. When Jayla approached me and asked me to help with this, I think it was meant to be. I come from a background of dance and theater and the arts, and I couldn't be more elated. When we had our first theater group meeting, when all the kids came down, they didn't know, half of them didn't even know what they were there for, but they didn't know what to expect and they didn't know if they wanted to be there. However, once we started rehearsing, their eyes lit up and there was excitement building. Needless to say, we have only been in rehearsal for about three weeks. And because of their hard work and dedication, we're here today and we're able to share their talents with you. To the cast and students of Freedom Calling, this is our last performance. Words cannot express how proud I am of you. You showed up, you worked hard, we came together, and we worked as a team, and you did it. Thank you for making this happen. I truly care about each and every one of you, and I'm excited to work with you in the upcoming years, and hopefully some of you too. This is only the beginning. Never give up and reach for the stars. I now present to you, Freedom Calling. Uh, 
basically took over, so they got their freedom. All right, guys. Now, if you're if you love to hear a beautiful voice, you're going to love this one. Siani Williams is going to come to the stage and sing "Rise Up." And if you never heard her sing, you're in for a surprise because when I say this girl can sing, she can sing. All right, let's clap and give a round of applause for Siani Williams. But I see it in you 
going to feature the song again, Stand Up, that you saw for Freedom Calling, but this time you will see an improvisation dance by Dynasty Anding acting out how she feels in regards to slavery. It's almost like a praise dance, but she did a phenomenal job. And you'll also see some of our actors that you saw in the play as well. So what I'm gonna do real quick is open the curtain because I'm the curtain person and the stage person and the director. So I'm gonna go open the curtain and come back and start the music. So I just ask for you to remain quiet. Let's give it up for Dynasty Anding and her crew.
so proud of them. I hope that uh, Jayla's already working on a, a show for next year. And I hope that we're able to continue it because these guys work so hard. I want to thank administration, Principal Brown, Reverend Brown, everybody that was a part of this and allowed us to do this. All of the teachers, the students for supporting. And I'm happy to be here, guys. And I hope that we could do bigger and better things next year. So take a bow. How was my performance? Like, I'm just, I mean, thank you, but like, I think I did pretty good, you feel me? I think I did great. Love you. Just to let you know, when Tavon came to for his first practice, he didn't even give me his real name. So that just goes to show that now he's really into this and he has a career in acting and performances. So again, guys, thank you so much. Please stay seated until it's time for dismissal. And I appreciate you all, and thank you.